as we type, InDesign can provide some feedback on what we're typing. Choosing Dictionary allows us to select the language that we'll be using when we do spell check. You can choose your language here and you'll notice that even in the United States there are several dictionaries. InDesign supports many, many languages. I'm going to leave English USA as my choice right now. I can also create custom dictionaries. This shows me where the dictionaries are located, but I could create new dictionaries by clicking the plus button right there. This will allow me to add content to that specific dictionary as I'm going along. Perhaps I have a dictionary that I want to use that's going to be for some special terms for a book that I'm working on, and I want to keep those separate from the main dictionary. Then I can build a dictionary, and I can store those words there all by themselves. When InDesign checks the spelling, it uses those dictionaries. It will locate by default misspelled words, repeated words, uncapitalized words, and uncapitalized sentences. It also can check your spelling dynamically. That means as you type, it can check your spelling and give you some warnings. You can set the colors for those warnings here. We also have the ability to auto-correct type. Let's turn on auto-correction now and correct a commonly misspelled word. When we turn on auto-correction, you'll see that many commonly misspelled words already appear. If you'd like to add your own commonly misspelled word, then you can simply click Add and add the word. So for instance, I know that I often spell T-E-H instead of THE. When you're done, click OK. Now, anytime I type T-E-H, InDesign will automatically correct it to T-H-E. I had mentioned that InDesign also has a story editor, which is kind of like a little word processor built into it. You can choose the font and the line spacing as well as the size and the color of that type here. It's a very basic system, but it allows you to edit copy very quickly, even when the copy isn't visible on the page. Related to that are the Notes and Track Changes preferences. Notes allow you to provide feedback in an editorial workflow that uses InDesign and InCopy. We won't be looking at that editorial workflow, however, during the course of this training. Just know that there are some preferences related to the Notes functionality in InCopy and InDesign and the ability to track changes in InCopy and InDesign.